Hello everyone! Today I want to talk about how you can export or make a backup of your Wonderware DA server configuration. Let's start off by launching our system management console, which you can access it using the right bottom left hand corner of the Windows icon here. And you type system management, but you can actually, they will automatically fill it for you. Click on system management console and launch it. Once the system management console is launched, uh, you can uh, expand your DA server manager, default group, and local. All my drivers are locally on this machine, that's why it's under local, so yours might be different. So here on this computer, I have two drivers, FS Gateway for OPC and a DAS MBTCP driver, which is for Modbus TCP. I'm going to make a export or a backup of my Modbus TCP driver. So you expand this guy here, you'll see configuration. First, Click on the configuration to open this window and right click on it and you select archive configuration set. Once you select that, it will give you an option to enter the file name for the backup. So normally I give a date and then I hit archive. So it has saved the file somewhere on the server. So in order to access the file, the file are normally stored in a separate folder. Um, so if you open your Windows Explorer and you're going to have to go to c colon slash program data. This program data you have to manually type it in. The reason for that is that they are hidden. So once you type c colon slash program data hit enter you'll see a directory called Wonderware. Double click on it and a DA server. You'll see two directory each for its own driver. So my driver that I'm after or I made backup of is DA server for MBTCP, Modbus TCP. Double click to open it and you'll see your backup file. So what I normally do is I just uh, cut it out of here and just save it somewhere, external hard drive or whatnot. I don't know what, whatever policy you have for backing up, you'll save it there. Note the file name extension is AA CFG. That's how you make a backup or an export of a Wonderware DA server configuration. Next, I'll show you how to restore your Wonderware DA uh, server configuration. So first of all, uh, if you navigate to um, your Wonderware DA server uh, backup directory, using your Windows Explorer here. So if you type C colon slash program data, hit enter, you'll see Wonderware DA server MB TCP. You'll see that there's no backup file in there. So in our, okay, so if you don't have any backup, if you go in here and try to restore by click, clicking here, another configuration set, you don't see everything is disabled, right? So you're going to have to have some sort of a file in there. So I'm just going to give it a new name in there. Call it Sinai with the date, today's date. So I'm going to move it there. As soon as you move in and right click, you'll see your backup. If you click on it, it will restore your configuration and you're good. Anyway, um, I hope uh, this small little trick helped you uh, proceed to where you're going to be. Anyway, you have a good day. Bye now.